and you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Go, Mr. Go, Juice the Savage, Nino Rocks, man. No, I don't know how I'm about Juice the Savage, what you want, gang? I'm bored, man. You know how I'm about man. How you about me, DJ U? Man, welcome to DJ UTV. It's definitely a blessing to have you. The fans definitely been requesting this one. For sure, that. It's a blessing to be here, you know? Definitely yeah. a blessing. For sure, that. So man, uh, man, can you tell me why the fans been beating my DM saying you need you a Juice the Savage interview? Shit, I'm original. Shit, I start this glory shit, all this glory shit, all this ghost shit, all that shit. I just been locked up. I'm back though. Okay, cause they definitely been saying you the one that started go go all that shit, man. Run around on Indiana. If you a glory, you, you if you ain't you if you ain't from Indiana, 61st in Indiana, you not no glory boy, because that's where it started at. Word. So take us from the top, Juice. Tell us where you from. 61st in Indiana, but I grew up since a shorty. I'm from the Calumetville, 6217, South Calumet. That's where I'm originally from. That's where I'm born and raised. Since since she went up with her, since I was like 14. That's when the bills got to now. Oh, so the bills got to when you was 14. So you stayed in bills until you was 14. Okay. We hear a lot of childhood stories from the buildings. Uh, so that man, you was in there with Lil Reese and Bro Bro and FYB J Main and T Slick. Yeah, I fought Bro Bro. You did? Yeah, he yeah, beat your ass. I smacked the shit out of him. We huh? did a smack, uh, smack box. We slap box. boxing and shit. You know, the big folks and they're like, uh, yeah, it's y'all turn. So she, I'm like, all right, shit, we get it. Smack the fuck out of me. Smack his ass up. Uncle. Really? Because the way they made Brother out to be was like, he's some damn monster. Like, that ain't nobody. Yeah, they, 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 they make a lot of people out to be a lot of things. They probably make me out to be a lot of things. But at the end of the day, people got to come face to face with you and see what that what that about. You feel me at the end of the day? Right. Talk about it. Right. So, so when the buildings tore down, you were 14 years old. That's when you and your family migrated. Y'all had to move up on Front Street? Um, basically, um, when the building got tore down, I moved there with my OG. Was, we moving there with over the east. You feel me? Up north. I graduated from up north, uh, grammar school up north, Third Good Marshall. And then after I grammar school, um, graduated, I went to high school, uh, Carl Scherz up north. And basically, I was out there for it. And then I started getting in trouble in high school out there. That's when I got kicked out of high school. And that's when basically I went back to, to the hood area over there, Indiana, 61st in Indiana. And shit. I've been over there all my life. 61st in Indiana, Front Street. You feel me? On Michigan, Wabash, all through the. Okay, now when we hear Front Street, you know, we think about the late, great Fredo Santana. Yeah. And also with your name being Juice the Savage, we think about Savage Squad Records. Yeah. So, so was Juice, I mean, was Fredo somebody that Juice the Savage came up under? Yeah, um, Fredo, he was up. He was older than me, so yeah, I looked up to Fredo. Um, bro, I ain't gonna need cap. I can't cap about that. I looked up to Fredo. Fredo was doing all type of shit before a lot of Oh, bro, Fredo was getting man. He was like, shit. Bro was on some trap shit for real. Oh, um, bro, before a lot of Oh, um, bro. Yeah. Can't count. Yeah. Don't stop. So, so what made, what made uh, you know, Fredo uh, stand out to the drill scene, you know, at that time? Shit, folks. 
Juan Fanon, she was like, you know, both Juan Fanon. Both was around them savages. Yeah. Period. Yeah. And we never you know, heard. Feed we, the savages. Okay. Because, you know, we never heard any, like, we never heard any ops diss Fredo Santana. You know what Folks I'm saying? Was around them savages. Feed the savages. Free the savages. Long live the savages. On phone them, long live the guys. The real members. Free D Rose. Like, folks ain't do, D Rose ain't do nothing, man. Free, 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 free little D Rose, man. Yeah. D Rose, that's somebody you came up with as well? Man, that's my shorty. That's my, that's my shorty, like, man, that's my shorty, man. Yeah, yeah, man. This shit crazy how niggas try to paint paint an image of me, you feel me? But niggas went death step to me. Went death step to me, but they'll, you know, try to spread rumors and shit, you know? Try to spread a little fake rumors and shit because they know I'm a real savage. And at the end of the day, niggas ain't gonna step to me, so they'll try to throw something out there. Oh, ooh, he getting down on D. How the fuck I get down on D Rose? We came home together in 2014. Together, okay. ran out the back of the courtroom, hugging each other. Yeah, folks, we just beat that shit, bro. It's up though. Oh, bro, niggas, then niggas seen I came home, they seen we beat that shit. They like, oh shit, juice back out. Now niggas all on my dick and shit. On folk them, fuck all you niggas. On gang. Okay. You know what's up with me? So you and D Rose caught a case together? Yeah, we caught a little case together, man, because. Shit, you know, that internet shit, bro, motherfuckers will paint your name out there so bad, they just say anything about you, they don't even know you. You feel me? So, the police said that they a dude pointed us, me and D. Rose, out in a video and said that we the ones that did it to him. On um, bro, we had to sit down for that shit. 18 months, whole time, how the f I tell you, 18 months, the whole time, and beat the shit in trial. 702 Judge Ford. Everybody was in the courtroom, all the hoods. Beat that shit, 10 toes, mouth closed. And, and, and motherfuckers looking like, damn, they just beat that shit. They back out here. Yeah. On oh, bro. And I just beat another case in 2020. I just said two years, that's why I'm just going for so long. I see all the bloggers, all type of shit going on that. On um, bro, after I got booked in 2020, all that fraud shit, all that shit that people, I missed all that shit. Um, gang, I got it locked up in 2020, bro. I just did two years. Just said, just beat that shit in trial. I'm just in a year, I'm just in a county for a year, and I'm just in shared and correctional for a year. And just came home September 19th, 2022. On um, bro, they came to my door. You just pack it up. You just beat your case. On um, bro, I was waiting on this shit. I ain't think this shit was gonna happen. I ain't think that shit was gonna happen with me and D Rose, nigga. I was telling D Rose, nigga, I'm ready to take that shit. It's over with for me. Cause I ain't, I want, I want, you feel me? You feel me? Like, I'm telling D Rose, yeah, I'm gonna beat that shit. Yeah, I'm beating that shit, bro. Word. So what y'all was fighting uh, uh, in, in the temp at the time? Yeah, the armed robbery. Okay. All type of other shit. Nigga said we did. Okay. And you all were both able to walk away scotch free from that? Scotch free. Okay. Oh, bro. And I had a public defender with that case. Nigga, okay. I'm gonna keep it real, DJU. I'm from the projects. I'm from the trenches. I ain't never hear shit. Right. You feel me? When a when a when a police, you remember that shit when the police raided the building and came in, SWAT team and shit, kicking in everybody those shit, flashlights and shit. Right. I came from that shit like from nothing. You hear me? I'm gonna keep it real, DJ. You on phone? Not like the, all the rest of them niggas that be sitting on the couch and shit. Right. Fuck me. You got a real one, DJ. You. Okay. What's the word? So so where did the rumors come from? What they saying you was. You told on D Rose. How did Man, D Rose react to those rumors? You know where the rumor came from? Them O Block niggas. Them O Block niggas. C Murder and Top, you know, 
Mana do all the niggas, but it came from C Murray. I used to be tweaking with C Murray when I was a shorty. That's probably where it came from. So he probably be a little anima. You know, niggas be having anima. I used to be beating the shit out of shit. They used to call me little Oscar De La Hoya back then. On folks, you ask all the older guys, nigga. You run into any older guys from the building from six two seventeen, nigga. They say, that's a little Oscar De La Hoya. He be beating shit on bro grade, nigga. Nigga, I ain't. I'm a fight, bro. I can put the pipe down. I'm a fight. On bro, we can fight. On bro. But yeah, that rumor came from them niggas, folks. Them niggas be mad at me, for DJU. I got too much persona, for. They be mad at me, for. I be fucking they hoes. They be mad at me. I got too much persona. They hoes be on me. But, you know, niggas be jealous. That's jealousy. Yeah. Now, I heard you mention Mona Duke. And when I was doing my little research, I learned that you got jumped by Mona Duke yeah, and his he brother. Yeah, he jealous of me, gang. He jealous of me, niggas. Be... I fought Trey Five, too. Niggas be jealous of me. Trey Five. They older homie, I fought him. I'm fought him when I was a shorty in O Block. He got mad at me because a little bitch name. What's the little, what's the little, what's the little, what's the little bitch she used to stay in the building? I think her name was Kiana. Missy or some shit. I don't know. Something like that. She was on my, she was on me and he got mad. He like, oh, that's my girl. Oh, I'm like, shit, oh, what the fuck you tell me? He all we got a fight on bro grade. I'm like, damn, I'm a shorty man for I wasn't even fight like that. You my damn was even trying to fight me for this bitch on me for. I'm like, alright, come on then. I'm folding my bust his ass two times. Bam, bam. He get the crown on folding him. Crown. He go grab a hammer on folding him and one of the older guys from the old head grabbed him. I'm like, nah, you ain't playing him with a hammer. On folding him. And I went back to my auntie crib. Cause my auntie used to stay in the O. Okay. So I used to be in the O a lot too. Okay. Bro. So, so when you was in the O, did you ever like run into Chief Keith? So, so that's my shorty, bro. So, so that's my shorty. He know he my shorty. He know I used to do a lot of shit, folk. He know, folk. Anytime he called me, folk. He know. Every time. What, what in his song? Had Nino swipe his car. Called Juice from Savage Squad. What he said in all his songs? Called it. Cause what it saying that stun like my mama? Uh, do you know Chizaro? He say call Desperado. He gonna come and join. He know me, bro. They know I got all type of abuses. They know me though, oh, bro. They gotta say my name. Yeah. What's the juice from Front Street? They gotta say my name, oh, bro. So what are your what are some of your earliest memories of Chief Keith? Did you did you ever uh? Know that he would grow up and be uh, a, a, a rap phenom with uh, any early signs that you saw? Sosa used to be funny as hell. <laughs> Sosa used to have a big ass mohawk on Fulton Gray. Big ass mohawk, full different. Folks used to be on some bang bang flip song games, so that's when he started rapping. Folks used to be a shorty. He used to be on some bang bang flip song games. That's where that bang bang shit came from. Okay. He used to be bang bang, bang bang. That's when we started from because if at first it used to be him, Slick, Duop, and, and Cap, they used to form a group and they used to call themselves Bang Bang Flintstone Man. Okay. To my T Slick with the one yeah, eye? Yeah, T Slick with the one eye. Okay. And me, Fredo, me, Fredo, Caper, and Gino Molly was Front Street. Okay. So we was on some like, on some group, on some brother shit. And Sosa, I remember this day, Sosa got him in, made a diss track to us. Tell me out, I'm, I'm uh, what he say? I'm bang bang fish the old game. What the fuck is a front street? I say, damn, folks just dissed us, okay? Now, nah, Fredo, like, <laughs> Fredo was mad as hell, okay? Fredo, like, Oh, biggie, foe, he tweaking, foe, this shit real, boy. This shit, this shit real, boy. He can't be playing like that, boy. I'm on his ass. Juice boy, he says this does boy, we on his ass. I say, I say, boy, you tweaking that salsa, man. I'm photo gray. I'm laughing at this shit. I'm like, well, I'm gonna diss him back. You feel me? Because I used to be rapping as a shorty too. I used to be rapping at um, my little cousin and shit. He used to have a laptop and shit. He used to be recording us and shit. So I used to bang recording and shit. Recording. He used to be recording. I like him. Like how I hear my voice and shit. Mm -hmm. And shit. I used to be recording. So. And that's when I migrated to Indiana and Sosa record. He was recording already and shit. Folks was going crazy. And 
Yeah, Fredo. Fredo here yeah, tweaked on Sosa. He tweaked on Sosa. Yeah. Oh, hold up. That's, hey, why hey, Sosa, hey. that's why Sosa probably have some little animosity to me or something, folks. Because, you know, niggas don't be forgetting them. You know, niggas don't be. They cause Forgetting them the like animosity for though. They cause us though, right? don't be forgetting the animosity for. They can't forget that shit, gang. Oh, bro, they can't forget that shit, DJU. Yeah. It don't matter what you is, bro. Niggas be still having in their heart. Mm-hmm. You ain't lying. You ain't okay. lying. Because niggas don't be forgetting that moment. And I'm a player, though, you know? Polo, players only live once, man. I'm a real, you know? That's my, that's <laughs> I like Polo. <laughs> but you know niggas be they be salty they be um, embarrassed you know humiliated they go right there yeah. and that shit hurt you to the heart from them and niggas got a lot of pride especially Chicago niggas Chicago niggas stubborn period ain't man. nobody trying to take an L nobody niggas gotta get their lick back nobody trying to take an L man mm-hmm. so uh right. man I was most recently uh watching No Jumper and they uh they interviewed Lil Reese. Um and somehow, you know, you was brought up into this conversation. I want to roll the clip. And that you actually with ball stopping T Boy when they broke his uh cheeky belt. I went with them. I went with them when they did that shit. I pulled up. See what I'm saying? During it? Yeah, I ain't I went with them. I pulled up when niggas was in there trying to do what they do. I want I went with them at all. Yeah. That that nigga was lying, saying that goofy ass shit on his mouth. But he, you seen where he did, they said that though, right? Yeah, his ass is goofy, he's lying, he, don't, he, he, he doing too much, he don't even know what he's talking about. So what did you do when you pulled up in the middle of that? Shit, shit, shit. I stopped everything that was going on, shit. This wasn't a, where was this house at? Because I was going where he's underneath the assumption this was his L.A. career, but it wasn't. It was in Chicago, 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 Illinois, Illinois somewhere? Man. It wasn't the L.A. spot. Man, that shit was goofy, man. I don't even want to talk about that shit. You hear me, bro? <laughs> that nigga brought that up. His ass a clown. He don't even know what he's talking about. He really was flying on the story, saying all type of shit, saying shit that wasn't true. I'm bro. Like, some somebody somebody um who used to be with Fredo okay. brought it up, acting like he know what he's talking about when he really know. He really yeah, don't know what he's talking about. Used to be with just, me. just mad cause don't nobody hang with him, would be around him no more. You know how that shit go. Hey, nigga, so upset. Don't nobody fuck with him. I'm a savage. So now he's trying to do anything to get some clout. I don't need nobody around me. So, so. But they know I'm a savage. Don't nobody need to be around savage. So what I was going to ask is, uh, there was, a situ- there was a situation in which Chief Keith crib got broken into? <laughs> nah, his crib ain't getting broken into. That was the second time. The crib got broken into the first time. They came into the crib when I, me and D-Rose first got out and went to go link up with, with Sosa. Because Fredo, he like, man, we finna go, we finna go to uh, Sosa crib. Sosa got a crib out there in, in the birds. And I'm like, all right, we go slide out there and shit. Both of them out there and shit. That's when they got a little video out there. Herb was in there. All, everybody was in there, man. We was in there on folks now. And um, on folks now. Shit, we was talking or whatever. Tato was on FaceTime with um, um, um C Murder and um, and um, he upped up C Murder. Like, yeah, y'all know how we cover. He was on FaceTime with me. He up, he up the up, he up the little prop tech on them. Up, yeah, y'all know how we coming on four them. I guess folks them fly out there. Folks them come to the crib. I'm in that bitch with my blick on me. Oh, bro, I'm fresh out. Oh, bro. Hey, come in the crib. Hey, Juice. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Which ain't nothing with me, but they, they was putting that snitching on my name, gang. They was playing with my name, folks. I don't be playing that shit. I don't, be, I don't play with people, gang. I don't play with people, bro. So don't play with me. I don't gang. Niggas put that snitching on my name, folks. Tell me I'm getting down on these roads, gang. Niggas don't even know me, gang. Niggas think they know me. Niggas fans of me, bro. Nah, nah, you know snitching out. I'm a, I'm a fucking niggas baby mamas keep. All right, watch this. Now you know snitching allegations never come out the blue. You know what I'm saying? There's always some type of reasoning behind them. You know niggas don't really be trying to put that jacket on nobody. So I know you they said just, they 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 just be no paperwork, no nothing for. They just say, oh, juicy, he got out of the road. 
when you get down on somebody, don't you come home and shit like that? Like before the other person, everybody, right? You don't do time with them, right? I mean, it really, the case, it, it, it depends on what's crazy. going on and what was Where said. Where work at? Right. He rose up and came out and said, I told on him. I, I, I haven't heard that myself. That's why I'm asking. And me and some of my homies on phone this shit so crazy, DJ U, my homie. I just came home and did a song with y'all on my dick. Oh, Juice, turn me up. Do a song with me, folk. Do a song with me. I do a song with the little nigga. Shoot a video with me, Juice. Do the video with the little nigga. You got a true teller in the group? Let me get on the couch. With Come on. I'm showing love. I always show love to niggas. You talking about Republican? Yeah. I always show love to niggas. Now you want to get on live. Tell me, I don't know the facts. I don't know how the fuck you don't know the facts. Me and D. Rose came home together, gang. You was on my, you was on our dick then. I'm oh, juice. Fuck back. This is my page. <laughs> Don't go fast out here, old bro, bro. Niggas be, niggas be chasing this shit. Niggas, niggas been chasing. Niggas be chasing this clout. Niggas, the clout, I did then the clout then it took over the globe. Damn. I mean, cause I'm a glory boy. Folks, them glow boys. I'm a glory boy. I start this shit. GBE, I start this glory shit, nigga. T Scud, my homie T Scud on the block, nigga. He used to be like juice. You and your glory, folk. You and your glory, folk. I'm yeah, I'm in my glory for you see me flexing, steady up a road, steady switching up clothes on four them. Then that's when the glory boy shit started. Everybody, oh, I'm in my glory, I'm in my glory. Now everybody, we the glory boys. The whole Indiana. Everybody from 61st to Indiana. Glory boys. Then that's when Sosa started rapping. Then we went to the studio on four them. Sosa started rapping. So some rapping, we go to the studio on Fonems, on um, Fredo, on Blood. Fredo, I ain't gonna lie, Fredo, my, I call him, Fredo really my, my homie folk, but folks used to be having some love. We were a little Tennessee toward me, folk. Folks used to be hating on me, low key, folk, on Blood, great right, folk. Now we go to the studio, we do the Glory Boy song on Fonem. Go on YouTube, we wanna pull some shit. All right, look, hold on. This is a history lesson interview right here. I'm finna give y'all a real history lesson, gang. Anything I'm saying, folks, pull this shit up. I'm broke. But yeah, the Glory Boy song. That's when Glory Boys really started. So to getting that, yeah, all us, we the Glory Boys on phone. I'm getting that, yeah, folks, we the Glory Boys, folks. We finna do this song, folks. We finna do this Glory Boy song. Now, Sosa getting that, all right, I'm finna do the um, hook. I'm finna do the chorus. Folks, get on that bitch. Glory boys, we get a lot of dope and blood in my ear. She gonna see a lot of snow on phone them. On phone them, glory boys, we get a lot of dope on phone them. Cause we was getting it. We was getting it for on Indiana. We was turned. Everybody wanted to hang on Indiana, folks. We was doing too much shit on Indiana. So that's when we get on that bitch. That's when I hop on that bitch. On phone them, I gotta get it. I gotta go. I got to get up off my ass and get this fucking dough and pesos. My mama told me never be a fuck nigga till the end is Glory Boys Front Street. That's the motherland. Catch us on 61st and Indiana dumping bags. Rolling hard off of y'all trying to get this bread. Oh, these hoes steady watching me. Want to know my next move. I'm tipsy off this fucking goose. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Fuck me. My shooter shoot. Shout out to Free My Nigga. Yup, that's my... Catch us on the block holding that bitch down until the sun come up, until the sun come down. Front Street. Oh, bro, I started this shit, DJ, you for real. Niggas know that. I don't know why niggas try to leave me in that bitch, bro. Niggas try to leave me in that bitch, folks, like I ain't start all this shit, folks. Like I ain't really start all this shit. Like I wasn't sponsoring niggas, folks. Like when had Nino swipe his card, like I wasn't doing that shit for real because I was young, DJ, you. But I was advanced, folks. I got to get this money for I'm seeing so much money. You know me living in the projects, folks. You seeing all this shit. Folks, I'm really hundreds, folks. They really throwing this shit up. Like, it ain't nothing, folks. They really pulling up in Rolls Royces and shit. They really spending some when that shit was hot. They really throwing this shit. Then my, my grandma, Miss Wiggins, she owned the fucking whole thing. Randolph Towers. My last, not, my last name is Randall, gang. Oh, bro. Real, bro. Like, 
I think that whenever they they hear you say your grandma own this my cousin. You met Bills? This my cousin, real cousin, blood cousin, Miss Wiggins. Everybody know Miss Wiggins, gang. She owned the whole thing, gang. Last name, Randolph Towers. Last name, mm -hmm. on phone number six two seventeen South Cali mm -hmm. Before before it changed, before that, and then it changed to Randolph Towers. What's so. up? So when you was coming up, did you ever have any interactions with King Vaughn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, Vaughn, and Sosa used to hang together. Vaughn used to, Vaughn used to be advanced too. All of us used to be advanced in our own way, folks. We all used to be on some advanced shit, folks. Vaughn used to have hoes with cars already, folks. On blood. He used to fold me. I'm finna come pick y'all up. Come on, bro. We bet on the cop with Vaughn. He take us, that's when Vaughn took us over to his area. Well, he used to be at Killer War shit. He slide the bond. He going to pick up money from hoes and shit. No game. Vaughn used to be. Vaughn used to be turned. No game. Vaughn used to be turned. Word. Any um any 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 personal experiences with him? Yeah, we used to be going on the op shit. Going to say hi to the ops. Just. <laughs> What about uh, your relationship with D Rose outside of you know him being your rapper? You know now that he's locked up, um, a lot of people say he locked up for a crime that he probably didn't even commit. Uh, what's he your... didn't do that shit, bro. And that's crazy, bro. They just got folks' name hot. Niggas left us in that bitch for dead. Like I ain't start all this shit. Like D Rose ain't a legend to the trenches. You feel me? Um, bro. I was in that bitch fighting that case with a public defender. D Rose had a lawyer though. Because, you know, mm -hmm. my OG can help me out this time. Oh, bro. Yeah. Uh, so tell us about though. But only nigga that helped me out though, real nigga though, blood money, long live blood money. That's why I got this beat tattered on me. That's why this shit stamped forever. That's why this YSM shit got blood in the nigga. This shit forever. Why I send the clothing. Why I send a new wave? You feel me? Global. This shit worldwide. You know? Why I send Blood money though. He sent me, he sent me, he used to be sending my sister bread. She used to be sending me bread. Blood money just bro. Blood money. When you sign that deal, blood money, real nigga. Word. I pay blood money. That's why well. I rap folks. That's why I rap folks. Hey, hey, where did the um the rumors about you being laced come from? Man, who said that shit? Have you ever had like a drug problem? Man, hell no, nah, but I ain't gonna cap to you though, DJ. You why I really be tweaking though? I got dropped on my head as a baby, folks. Okay. I ain't gonna even lie to you, folks. My OG told me that's what happened, folks. So that's probably, you know, so I'm probably is a little <laughs> slow. Oh, right. Dang, I'm probably is a little slow, man. <laughs> on phone number, but hey. I learned fast though. Don't play with me, gang. I ain't no. Don't play with me, gang. Niggas, no. Who you talking about, Lil Mimo, Lil Melvin? I, I know he told oh, you. On phone them up. Then I up on him and made him run. He hop fence. Oh, juice, no. <laughs> stop playing with me, shorty. Hold on, you did, boy. Man, stop playing. With me. You and Mimo got into it before you made him run. No, somebody they. At the center, everybody used to be at the center, mm -hmm. so they kind of get down on one of the guys from the block. I what? This one I just here got popped on bro. So I'm in this shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. After that, after before that changed my life. But they took one of the guys for I catch their ass coming off Michigan on four them. run up on their ass. What? What? You no no four no. Everybody see they gone. He take off. Man, he gone. He take off. They right. They they hop the fence. Stop playing with me. Niggas know. But I don't be on that, DJU. I don't be on that, bro. I just be trying to protect the guys. Yeah. So can you tell us around the time that you started rapping and who influenced you to get into the booth? I started rapping because... The older guys used to be rapping. DJ Nate, DJ Limo, all of them they used to be having a little juke parties in the building. 
and she had everybody just turn, everybody dancing, all the females dancing on them. So they making their little beats and juke songs. I'm like, damn, that shit turn. You know, I just love that shit. Then shit, the older guys used to be rapping. Shit, I used to watch them do their shit. Shit, that's where it came from. Word. That's where it came from. I used to go in the crib. My OG used to, uh, my OG used to make us like, Time, write our timetables out and all that. I used to be writing raps in my little book, trying to figure out words to put together. So that now one of your um one of your or one of my favorite mixtapes of yours is um Juice the Mixtape, right? Go hosted by DJ Benz, and you got features from uh or with D Rose, Rondo number nine. Gino Marley, Matty Baby, you know what I'm saying? Uh, even Buka, you got Buka on your tape, right? Yeah, I got a couple, got a couple of guys on my tape. Yeah, so take us back to that time, you bro. See, I was showing love. You see that, right? You see how many people on that tape? Mm -hmm. I was showing love then, DJ. You putting the guys on, we finna do this shit together. See that? Everybody, see get, that on, that everybody get on the song. Everybody see who who gonna go, go crazy. But tell us what the uh what the atmosphere was like though back then, you know, when you was able to that's have everybody it, together. That's when it was real love back then. Okay. When it first started. I'm talking about I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to 20, 2010, man, 09, folks, when this glory boy shit first started, folks. When niggas was fucked up, you hear me? Mm -hmm. When DJ Ken was in the studio and they was Juice, get DJ Ken $20 or so, man, so we could record, man. Folks are hungry. Ooh, ooh, what I'm doing? Going in my pocket. Hit DJ Ken. Okay, I always showing love. Niggas can't say I ain't show love, folks. Niggas can't say I want 10 toes. Niggas can't say when they ain't called me, I ain't come. Mm-hmm. Uh, and speaking of, speaking of DJ Ken, for the fans that don't know, that was... That was one of the first producers that Chief Keith was working with. So this before Young Chop. This this the begin this the real beginning of the of the, of the, of the drill era. Yeah, this was before Young Chop. So you was around even back then. I was around from the start. Man. So when you say you started Glory I'm Boys, hard. I'm huh? hard of this shit. So when you say you started GBE, can you tell us who the original uh, GBE members were? Man, look, I ain't gonna even cap to you, me. Fredo and Chief Keith is the original Glory Boy member. Okay. Go look up the song. It's on Sosa YouTube channel. Big Gucci Sosa. Go type in Glory Boys. Who on the song? Chief Keith, Fredo Santana, and Nino Rachi. Okay. Originals. That's when this Glory Boy shit started. Then that's when everybody. I'm a glory boy, I'm a glory boy, I'm a glory boy, I'm a glory boy, I'm a glory boy. I wanna rap, I wanna rap, I wanna rap. Everybody wanna rap. Nigga, I remember going to school, I remember going to high school, nigga. I went to diet, because I went to diet at first before I went to up north high school. I went to walk, I went to diet. Everybody went to diet. Everybody. I'm in that bitch. Come to school, fresh as hell every day. Persona. Everybody in that bitch. The who on the S dot. Before his name was Dada Rachi, where he get that name from? Nino Rachi. Cause I started my, I started that rap name. I'm phone on me, Sosa, in the studio. I'm getting that, man, what my rap name gonna be? Damn. I used to listen to Gucci a lot. So Gucci had a song called Liberace or some shit. He used to, he, he used to like, go Gucci Rachi, got the hoes in the lobby, go Gucci Rachi. I'm like, damn, what you turn? I'm like, all right. And then the Nino move, you know? So I'm like, man, my name is Nino Rocks. I'm him. I got the whole little lobby, yo. I'm for the boat turn. That's where it came from. Then Shorty sent me. He all, my name ain't Don Rocks. Come on, man. <laughs> this is my son. Yeah. Yeah, so, what else? So, so. Where I come from? Nah, hold on. I, I be going off to Jimmy, but what? We were talking from? about GBE. Oh, GB. Oh, okay. And I asked about the original. No, members. the original members, me, Sosa, and Fredo. Right. Uh, Sosa, like, let's do this song. We the Glory Boys. Go do the hook. I hop on the first verse. 
Um, Fredo get on the second verse. Um, Sosa in that bitch up there. And that's the that's that's when it grew up. But Glory Boys was started on Indiana, man, on some hood. We in a hood, bro. Everybody running around just trying to be the turkeys. So what about uh, SD? When did he become a man, member of the Glory Boys? That guy is a little rapper. He, we, like I said, everybody synced us first, rapping. They like, damn, folks, them rapping. Damn, folks, them getting that. They rapping, woo woo. That's when they started migrating to the studio with DJ Ken and shit. That's when niggas, shit, you know, made they, you know, rapping shit go. You hear? Okay. Yeah. Do you know? Uh, but I'm a hood. I'm a hood glory boy. Okay. It's, it's rapper. Yeah. So you saying you 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 you're not a rapper glory boy? You are. I'm an artist, bro. I'm really a, a musician, bro. Okay. I used to play. I could play. I could play shit. I'm multitasking, bro. I can do shit. Okay. I ain't no don't don't call me just no rap. So, so the, do you feel like the guys that you came up with? Um, left you hanging or like what happened? What was the disconnect? Show love to all the guys, folks. They know I started all this shit and shit. You know. Well, what I'm asking is, you know, know, we don't see you around any of these people that we're talking about right now. They know I'm too real for I be doing too much shit, folks. I'm really a bad seed, and I'm trying to turn. Okay. Okay. So uh so I guess what I'm what I'm what I'm what I'm trying to learn is what happened. Like what 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 was the disconnect? You know, if you went from hanging around these guys, these niggas you grew up with, you making songs with them, you started in the drill era with them, you started the glory boys, woo woo, you started go woo woo. All right, so what happened? How come ain't nobody fucking with you? I didn't know swap his car, car juice and cyber squad. What else? Dirk shot to be out too. Got, got juice in the studio with you. Got juice in the bitch with you. Mm hmm. What? What? You said DJ Biz. Oh, he was talking about you? When he said I got juice in his bitch with me? Yeah, I was in the studio with Tato. He, he like, got juice in his bitch with me. Got Carlito in his bitch with me. We was all in the studio together. I ain't know he was going to shot me out. Right. Um, bro, this is my first time, like, interaction with, you know? Mm -hmm. He came, shook up with me. He shook up. You feel mm -hmm. What's up, Juice? And what up? And bro. And shit, he went in the booth and shit. He got juice in his bitch with me. Oh, bro. Yeah. What other juice? Juice world? But what other juice though? Right. So I guess what I'm asking one more time is, what happened for you to not be around, uh, quote unquote, the game anymore? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Niggas be hating on me, bro. Okay. That nigga ball out. He used to be hating on me. Back in high school, mm -hmm. back in diet, when, when we started this glory boy shit, mm -hmm. when, when Sosa put that shit on YouTube, because I, I wasn't really into all that YouTube shit, all that shit, bro. I just used to go in the studio, probably freestyle, probably write some shit, put that shit down, and I wasn't really into, you know, mm -hmm. I was just trying to figure shit out. But, so also put that shit on YouTube and I guess it went viral because nigga, when I went to high school, hoes was like, Juice, you on YouTube. I see you on YouTube. Yo, dad, you know, rock cheap, woo, woo. You be rapping, woo, woo. I'm like, yeah, that's me, woo, woo. And when I went in the hallway, ball out, and this nigga, uh, Paris, he, he, he rapped that, he rapped too. His name is Slutty. He a rapper too. They in the hallway together and they getting that. Oh, Juice, you, you, you rap for that, yo, that shit weak as hell. Ooh, y'all call y'all self the glory boy, that shit weak as hell. I'm, 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 I'm niggas hating on me. I keep it walking, I keep it pushing. Niggas hating on me on front of Now niggas glory boys, niggas got changed glory boys and shit. But niggas was just hating on me when, when we start this glory boy and shit. Niggas went in the studio with us when we was broke as hell. When we started glory boys, when Sosa put it on YouTube. Niggas went in the studio with us, gang. It was just me, Sosa, and Fredo, and DJ Ken. Yeah. 
So since Fredo has passed away, we haven't really heard much of Savage Squad records at all. Um, have you heard anything from Gino Marley recently? Uh, do you Shout still keep in touch with him? Marley. Shout out the glue. Shout out Gino Marley. I'm sure the fans would love to hear an interview from him, right? Shout out Gino Marley. Shout out the glue. You better hit him up. Yeah. Good shit, you know. I'm YSM. What does YSM stand shit. for? Young Savage Music. Okay. Young Savage Movement, Young Savage Money Chain. You know, I, I started this this movement. I started this shit young. You okay. feel me? Got me getting locked up. So you like Soldier Boy, you started all this shit. Yeah, I started this shit for real, bro. Okay. Not like on no Soldier Boy shit, <laughs> but this is a real history lesson. Anything I'm talking about. If I'm lying, bring this shit up and say, you, you lying. You ain't do this shit. I don't gain anything I'm saying, nigga. I, you can pull this shit up. But I started this wild some shit by being locked up and shit. You know, during all that time, I did 18 months on that case with me and D Rose. Mm -hmm. So when niggas was putting that snitching on my name, that shit was in the jails. Money Duke was coming off his visits, getting that, oh, juice. You, you getting down on D-Rose. I just came on visit with Top and, and, and C-Murder. They say, you getting down on D-Rose. Loud as hell on the deck, DJ you. Mm. I say, man, yo, goof at me. Yo, bitch ass nigga. I ain't getting down on shit, nigga. Fuck you time out, nigga. We finna beat that case. And what we do? Beat that shit. But on Fulton Gray, we was finna fight and the, the thing, but he ain't want to fight. He getting that. Just you, 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 think you, you think you want something. You think you turn this shit. Because you be playing with guns. I mean, stop. So this Hall of Duke with him up? Yeah. King Kong. Man, stop playing with me, man. I'm King Savage. <laughs> hey, but yeah. When they spread that shit, DJ U, that shit spread like wildfire game when you put some shit on a nigga name like that, folk. I had to fight niggas over that shit, nigga. Right. I had to fight my celly over that shit, nigga. He, we could have did it. I could have killed him in that bitch. Oh, bro, he came at me. Ah, uh, you, that's why you telling on your rap. You I ain't telling no shit, nigga. Lace my boots up. Lace the boots up, DJ U. Beat him in that bitch. Come here. Folks, some money duke them run up to the door. Stop, Juice, you gonna kill him. Ooh, you gonna kill him. Y'all, the niggas that spread this shit on Fulton Gray. Mm. On Blood Gray, that shit ain't no game. Yeah. You can't touch this. That's why I be on, play with people, fool. I leave people alone, man. It's people be playing with me, gang. On so, the phone, so I really had to fight for that shit when niggas said that shit on my name, folk. That's when that savage shit came out of me. I'm like, ah, these niggas playing with me, folk. I'm in this bitch. I don't think I'm coming home. I'm telling D Rose, like, what folks them on? <coughs> Ain't no bread coming. Like, damn, folk. I'm savage, folk. I'm in this bitch. Juice is savage. I'm folding gray. I'm on that. Nigga, I had to there like 10, 10, 15 fights in that bitch. On bro. And I ain't gonna cap. I probably lost one. No bout. What, who was that one? You was sorry, remember? Man, who? some nigga on bro. He called me one time. I'm oh, damn. I'm folding him. He called me. Oh, bro. Can't cap. It happens to the best of us. All the rest. Yeah, yeah, it happens to the best time, folks. You just gotta be, you gotta get back up, folks. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, live to fight another day, goddamn. Yeah, yeah, Win folks. some, you lose some. Yeah, yeah, folks, but niggas be called a little goofy, folks. I don't like that goofy word, folks. Yeah. So now I'm finna get on niggas' ass. You talking about who called me goofy? You little shitty? For Lil Ricky. Lil Shitty. You to my Lil Ricky? Man, look. Stop playing, man. Like, niggas ain't gonna catch me on no camera folk. You catch me on camera folk, it's gonna be that. <laughs> on bro. Catch you on camera? What you mean? On camera. <laughs> I'm lost. What is you talking about? You hey, said a nigga catch you on camera. I'm talking about the rap. Know what I'm talking about? Out there, like in the trenches, like when you outside. What could I say? Better I'm on my shit when I'm on. What, what do you say? I'm be better I'm on my shit when I'm outside. C caught him with his pants down. Nigga, you shit. 
<laughs> you trying to say Kodak Black was sleeping this a little reason? Oh no. Is that what you're yeah, saying right like now? That, I just like that chorus though. I just that like that shit. I'm on that savage right. shit. I'm on that savage shit, DJU. Yeah. When, when, when I ain't had shit locked up in them trenches in them cells. Yeah. Juice savage, kid savage. Yeah, for sure that. Uh, when you was locked up though, brother, what was um what were some of the things you were seeing? Shit. Fights. Did you ever see somebody Dex going up? Okay. Dex going up. Shit. You ever see somebody get their butt spit into? No, I I ain't see that shit. Okay. That shit. That was some new shit that they just started. Mm -hmm. That's some new shit they started in that bitch. I'm just in that bitch for 20, 22, you know? I mean, 20, um, 20. That shit wasn't going. That shit, I was hearing about that shit when I was in that in 2022. Mm -hmm. I mean, 2020. I was hearing about that shit, but I ain't never see that shit. Word. So, what's your thoughts on. This uh, murder trial of FBG Duck and and on the old block five that's that's underway right now as we speak. Uh, I'm a real one, bro. I'm finna get old niggas ass from since they just want to say I'm a rat. You know what I'm saying? I'm shit, but ain't no paperwork for my name. Ain't nobody said I never told them. Bro. But all them niggas got paperwork. All them niggas, Trey Five, he told on Mac. Oh, bro. Oh, bro, who else? Tell him. You see it in the media, they tell him. Rap, 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 rap. Park Ray Rex. So, what you saying, they telling on each other? Uh, okay. I don't know nothing. I don't know. Okay. Um, what 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 is your thoughts though on the current state of Chicago? Like the um the music scene. Man, like, everybody just need to mind their fucking business and create their own craft and stop stealing other people's craft. <laughs> everybody tell me go. I really started that go shit. I be hearing dirt in that go where he wanna be go. Just holler at me. I'll make you go. I'll make you a go member. Go. You just gotta really be going. You gotta really be on go. You feel me? But yeah. Word. But the current state of uh, music in Chicago. Just tell us who your top five drill rappers are of all time. Sosa go one. Uh, me, I'm number two. Blood Money, number three. Um, well. Yeah, two more. Two more. Salt to yourself and blood money. I got two more. Uh, the Chicago. Real life. I like Lil Herb. Okay. Oh, bro. I fuck with Lil Herb. I fuck with Lil Herb music. Oh, bro. Yeah. One more. Mm -hmm. Salsa, yourself. Blood money, G Herbo. I ain't gonna lie, we lessons in this shit. Uh, Vaughn and Dirk, I'm gonna put them together. Okay. Now I'm surprised with you being from Front Street that you didn't put Fredo Santana. I told you I vote. folks used to be hate <laughs> That's why I started about old shit. The YSM? Yeah. I was getting too turned. I got some of Bacardi, all type of shit. Oh, bro. I was doing shows, all type of shit. Turn. Things ain't. Things like. I'm still that same nigga, like, bro. I'm 10 toes, bro. I don't give no fuck about none of that shit. None of that shit. Work. Oh. Well, yeah, bro. You got any new music coming out? Yeah, for sure that. I got this Desperado 2 Autos mixtape coming out on Fogum. I'm from the call Desperado. He will come and join. So just shout me out. You know, I'm finna let y'all know about Desperado. 
put with them. I got that coming out. And I got King Savage, the album. I'm finna drop an album. I ain't never drop an album. Drop that. I got all type of shit going, you know. I got my clothing line coming. I mean, got joggers, t shirts, all that shit. Wass in the leg. Young Savage Music, Young Savage Music, Young Savage Money Team. Um, bro, my YouTube, Wassim, um, Young Savage Music, 6261. Um, bro, bro, subscribe. I got all types of shit going on. When I go to Cali, um, I got some little modeling shit going on with, um, with, um, with bro, uh, that Jesus uh, clothing on. Um, bro, I got all types of shit. Work. I'm just working really, man. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. So trying to be productive. Yeah. It's best Why to be I'm here on Earth. It's best to be productive for sure. Make make good use of the good town and the good Lord then gave you, right? What you got? Um y'all gonna go anyway. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, My yeah. Bad. But for the um, you know, for the youth that's watching right now, you know, is there a message that you can leave for them? Yeah, man. When you're young, you go through a lot of stuff, but you know, you gotta fight through obstacles. You know, you gotta win through them obstacles, and you gotta make goals for yourself, set goals for yourself. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And really try to really focus on them goals, cause you know, bro, you know, you know be great. You're going to be one of the greats. They're going to scream your name. They're going to scream your name. They're going to shout you out. Mm -hmm. Any shout outs to Close and Marshall? Want to leave the people before we get out of here? Shout out all the real ones. Free all the real ones. Free, free who matter. Free, free D Rose, man. Free my rapper. Free them every day man, until you free. Why I send the leg? Shout out Glow Gang, shout out Sosa, shout out Tato. You know, shout out Front Street. Shout out all the members. I'm still 10 toes. I'm a real one, bro. I don't give no fuck about none of this shit. You feel me? I still fuck with all, all, all my homies. I still fuck with all my homies. I don't give no fuck. Rich up, bro. I seen one of my homies. Nigga who I grew up with, folks uh, as a crackhead. Oh, folks, no. I'm damn, folks. What the fuck? He, folks, let me hold a couple of dollars. Bro. See my dude him, that was in the home I video? Him, I gave him a couple of dollars. Like, he'll fold. Like, damn, folks. I used to really be with us, folks. Like, this should be crazy, folks. It happens. Oh, bro, great. I couldn't believe it, folks. Like, I'd be like, bro, what you want, bro? What you be doing, folks? He probably should be crack. What the fuck? How could you do that, bro? Like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah. And he out here like, real boom, like, real like, like shit crazy. You just you gotta have that, that rack do you, folks. That rack will do it to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just gotta be strong. Gotta the drugs be strong. will do it to you. You gotta be strong, yeah. That too. Whatever you man. Have a strong man, man. And stay focused. That's yeah. what I tell to the youth. Have a strong mind, stay focused, and and I know you got dreams and goals. Stay focused. Show that man. Well, I appreciate you pulling up on us tonight, Juice the Savage. Feel me? Go, go, man, go shit. You know, you know when we hear the word "go" with a whole bunch of O's, we hear a little Dirk said a lot of his rap songs. This is where this ghost shit came from, right? So I'ma tell y'all for real. Gucci man. Gucci is a big influence to everybody, gang. For sure. Gucci getting that go and it's in a couple of his songs. So I'm getting that go, 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 running around the block, go on the phone. Them. <laughs> Doing all type of shit. Go on the phone. Them. Ass in the phone. Go. Sosa getting that. Juice say that shit. Go, go. Then all of a sudden, folk get the I'm hearing his songs. He putting that shit in his songs, getting that go, go. Just out saying the game. And shit, that's where it started from. Oh, um, bro. So I'm really a trendsetter. I'm really a trendsetter, gang. I'm really got a lot of new wave coming. I got a lot of new shit coming. 
a lot of new shit coming. I'm working. That's what's up, man. Man, right now in Chicago, you know the Hands TV is going crazy on Instagram. If you could, if you could put the gloves on and duke it out with somebody on Hands TV, who would it be? Shit, anybody that y'all see the uh, the blogs be posted be about, say we a tour or whatever, any one of them, the the memo, all of them. But we get on Hands TV, we can put the guns down. Positivity, go to the back, put the gloves on, <laughs> duke it out. Let's go. Yeah. I did two bus tab in, in Detroit and in the county fight. Go, go. Man, everybody want to fight me, Mo. I mean, shit, he be just talking, bro. He just be talking, bro. He got a big mouth. So, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Mimo. So, let's set up a fight with, with Mimo and uh, Juicy Savage. On hand, CV? Anybody, anybody, the fans won't be anybody. It don't even matter, bro. What about Money Duke? You'll put the gloves on with Money yeah, Duke? Him too. Him too. Oh, bro. Put the gloves on. Go on TV. Pay me through. Let's get it. Word. Yeah, shout out DJ Udo. For sure, that. Shout out Juice the Savage, man. YSM. Go. You know, that's one of my favorite sayings. You feel Go. Go to you. Can't go no more, man. You know that. Hey, shout out to Mercy Productions, though, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Big B's, Bruce C's, man. Long live Blood Money, Long live Capital, Little Trace Avenue, Little Fredo. All the guys, man. Free all the guys. Show that. Happy holidays, man. This is a real Shot Town classic. Shot Rack classic. This is Chicago, nigga. Juice the Savage, DJ UTV. Selfies. Hold up. Go, go. DJ, you go crazy.